In 1976, Michael and Ludmila Smolansky emigrated from Russia and settled into Chicago. With little English, $100 in their pockets, and a baby girl to care for, they didn't have much materially speaking. What they did have was each other and a burning desire to live the American dream. My mother opened the first Russian delicatessen two years after settling in Chicago. Um, <clears throat> my dad worked as an engineer in Chicago and then together they la launched Lifeway Foods in 86. Lifeway Foods would become the largest manufacturer of kefir, which is a yogurt-like probiotic dairy drink. It's loaded with all the good bacteria that helps support a strong immune system. Kefir has long been a staple in Eastern European diets, so when the Smolinskis were trying to figure out how to bring a little of the old world to the new, creating and selling kefir was a perfect fit. With a growing Russian population in Chicago, the demand was certainly there. Daughter Julie, who was just a baby when her family arrived from Kiev, now serves as president and CEO. We were the first company to actually label our product as a probiotic um, in the United States. And I remember when we first did it, consumers would be calling and saying, like, I want the kefir that's not probiotic. And we would have to really spend some time educating on the benefits of good bacteria and probiotics. So yeah, it was really early. While Julie always spent time around the family business growing up, she thought her calling in life was as a social worker or psychologist. Throughout grad school, she volunteered as a rape crisis counselor and worked as a family counselor in some really tough Chicago neighborhoods. But everything changed in 2002. I serendipitously ended up in my father's office and fell in love with what he was doing with Kiefer and um, just really made these connections that, you know, I could still help people make healthy lifestyle choices um, by using some of the, the psychology background that I had studied. However, it's safe to say that Julie never intended to lead or go into the family business for that matter. She stepped into the CEO position in 2002 when her father died of a sudden heart attack at the age of 55. Julie, who was just 27, and her brother Eddie, who was just 23 at the time, were thrown into the CEO and CFO leadership positions. She says many people were doubtful she would succeed. You know, at the time that my father died, um, before he even, we had the funeral for him, um, the closest people around him, his friends, said to me, there's no way that a 27-year-old girl can run this company. But Julie proved the doubters wrong. Not only did she run the company, she grew Lifeway exponentially. In 2002, revenues were 12 million. Today, they're more than 100 million. Not bad for a 27-year-old who was unsure of which way to go. It was like a make it or break it moment. Um, and I persevered and I just kept thinking failure is not an option and I was not gonna let everything that my parents risked and worked for over their entire life go to waste. Family, her own, and the one she created with her husband and two little girls is at the heart of everything she does. Her dedication and desire to succeed has paved the way for the company's survival for years to come. With Lifeway dominating 97% of the kefir category in the probiotic industry, this family business is positioned to be a global force to be reckoned with. Time after time, just see that passion trumps skill set, it trumps, you know, education background. Um, so find that thing that you're really passionate about because you'll very likely succeed at it.